All right, let's talk about verb conjugations in the present tense. All right, now a German verb has a stem and an ending. So for example, fragen means to ask. This is the stem, the en is the ending, okay? Stem, ending. Now to the stem, we add what is called personal endings. Let's see what that looks like. So remember, we had the singular and we had the plural. And we learned, when we conjugated the verb to be, we learned the personal pronouns. So, ich, now we need the stem. Frag is the stem. And the personal ending for ich is he. So, ich, personal stem, I mean um, ending, personal ending, stem. So, when you have ich, you add a, an e to the stem of the verb. Do, again, stem. Personal ending for do is st. Du fragst. Alright? Next one. Er. CS. Stem. Personal ending is t. Now let's look at the plural when we talk about more than one person. Okay, in the plural we say wir. Again, stem. Personal ending. Wir, personal ending, is en. Oh, that was number one. Then comes number two. Ihr, you all. Stem, personal ending. And the last one is they, again, stem, personal ending. So, again, you must memorize these endings because all regular verbs have the same endings with the same pronouns. And again, say them out loud to yourselves, write them if it helps you, make flashcards, whatever you can do to learn these. So again, ich, personal ending is e. Du, personal ending is st. Ers, personal ending is t. If you go to wir, person ending is en, they, person ending is en, and you all, person ending is t. So you see they kind of repeat, but they go with different pronouns. All right, is everybody with me so far? So suppose I'm going to write the word lernen down. Now, what's the stem of this one? Lernen. And the ending is en, right? Okay, now we learn. We take the stem all the way through with this conjugation and all we do is add personal ending. So if, if I would say, we are, we, all, uh, we are learning German, how would we say that? Okay, let's do stem. Personal ending is en, right? How would we say, you are learning? I'm talking to one person, yeah, like David. You are learning German. So, du. And then the stem. And then the personal ending. Du lernst. Right. How would you say Mr. Miller is learning German? Where would we go? Mr. Miller, we know he's a man, right? So we have to look for the pronoun, he. So the personal ending would be T, right? Mr. Miller fragt. Now we are not talking to him, we are just talking about him right now, okay? There we go. If we say, she is learning German, how would we say that? C. And here we know we mean she, right? See, land, Deutsch. Again, stem, personal ending. Okay, now, these most German verbs are ending in en. However, we have some that end in a short n. There's no en. For example, do, tun, which means to do. So, when we conjugate it, we do the same thing. Stem, personal ending. Ich tue, du tust, er 
toot, and so on. It's just a shortened stem and we add an end to it. And then we add the personal endings when we conjugate. 